Yeah, so uh, I was out on the water with my buddy. Uh, if you show some of the photos, you'll see my buddy mm -hmm. Matt in the shots. Yeah, and he's on the paddle board, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, exactly. So we're just cruising. Uh, it's going to be him on the right here. And uh, we're out there cruising looking for dolphins, which is a very, very common thing that we see on a daily basis here in Laguna Beach. And all of a sudden, we just stumbled upon this massive sunfish. Um, and I've, I've seen sunfish probably a dozen times over the years, so I knew what it was, so we weren't scared. We know that it's harmless. But this one was unique in that, first of all, it was only about 200 yards offshore. Typically, they're like a mile or a few miles way off the coast. So he was super close to the beach, and as you can see, he was massive. Uh, it was a really big fish. <laughs> He's huge. I mean, from that perspective, too, that we're looking at in that photo, I mean, wow. So, okay, let's put in perspective here. So these fish are generally as long as they are wide. And according to Guinness, uh, the largest sunfish ever recorded weighed over 5,000 pounds and was 10 feet long. So knowing that, how would you say this one compared? Well, if you pull up that photo again mm -hmm. of the fish next to my buddy's board, his board is 14 feet wide. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh. So <laughs> good there's actually another it. image which shows the fish the other way. It, unfortunately, we don't have a tape measure out there on the water, obviously, but <laughs> I, I got to guess it was a good solid nine to 10 feet long. My goodness. Did it do anything? Okay, so it's, it's, it's fin came out of the water. Did it mm. do anything cool or weird? Did it like uh, come to the surface for air or blow bubbles or uh, was it no, just that's underwater? The thing. So they're unique. They just lay there. They kind of lay on their <laughs> side. And the one fin kind of dangles out of the water. So it kind of looks like a, it could be a great white shark or who mm -hmm. knows what. <laughs> and we spent about a half hour with the fish, shooting photographs, filming. That's me bent over filming underwater. Okay. And they, they just lay there. I mean, we could have literally just jumped on the fish if we <laughs> wanted. And I don't think it would have done anything. Um, we didn't do that for the record. But uh, they just kind of hang out. I mean, huh. normally they're deep under the water. Yeah. And then every now and then like this, they'll come up to the surface and they are basically sunbathing, hence the name sunfish. Did you get the feeling like he was working the camera for you? Like maybe uh, that sunfish sure. has like a yeah. modeling dream, you know? Yeah. No, I was joking. Uh, for, the funny thing is, so I had no idea that people would be so interested in this fish. Um, it was a, definitely a cool encounter, but like this, this fish right now has no idea how famous it is. So I think maybe <laughs> you're right. I think, I think it, it's smarter than we give it credit for. He didn't look that smart, but I think he knew what he was doing.